Oi, I'm Bartholomew McKenzie. I'm here with Colonel Mustard, and we're here to pick up where we was. Sound good now, don't you, Mike? Hey, I'm Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to just bogart it like I was initially just going to take the game. Oh, it's okay. Okay, good. I, I got stuff to, you know I got stuff to talk about. Let's hear it, man. I've been telling you all week about some stuff I gotta talk about. All right, let's, let's talk important. about it now. Okay, Alan. Yes, sir. As you know, I'm an ad avid fan of anime, but it's been a very long time since I have found a show that, had, uh, like a new show that I'd never seen before. Because like One Piece is still ongoing, mm -hmm. My Hero Academia is still ongoing, but I'm still invested in those. But those aren't really new to me. They're just kind of ongoing, older series that I've been paying attention to. So you, what you're talking about is shows that are brand spanking new? Well, not, I don't have to, at least brand spanking new to me. Okay. Because I've been watching My Hero Academia for a year. I've been watching One Piece for like six years. Have you ever you watched know? Attack on Titan? Yes. Did you like it? So, uh, yes and no. I like it enough. Like it enough? I, I don't, I'm, not, like, I'm not crazy about it, but I did, I did enjoy it. It's just not one of my, my crazy, crazy favorites. But uh, I just finished a series... That did that for me is like for the first time in a while. What's that? A while, man. Legend of Korra. Oh yes. Let's Legend talk. of Korra. Okay. So Korra might be my favorite female protagonist of all time. Okay. In fact, when I say it, it's, it feels right. So I'm gonna go ahead and say <laughs> I'm gonna go, go ahead and put it on like the official record. Korra is my favorite female protagonist of all time. Um, I don't know, like... Do you believe that? For the, yes. Okay. For the longest time, I just, like, I couldn't get, like... I couldn't get, like, really into... Like, I just didn't get invested, you know? It was, like, one of those things, like, did you ever watch a show and then you were like, you know what, I wish my life situation was this life situation. Sure. Once or twice in the past. Yeah, like not not really. You want to be that character because I like myself, you know. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Like, no, it's like. But the whip out the psychiatrist. Yeah, no, because I'm. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I'm. I'm sure there are people that say that they'd be like, I wish I was this character because they see they're way better than me. But I like myself. I just like the the situation or the world that the show is in. I mean, most animes characterize the world in such a favorable fashion when it comes to things that we don't ordinarily have access to. It's one of the yeah. It's one of the reasons I like anime more than live action. I can respect because, that. like, I don't know. I you could like CGI and mm -hmm. all that stuff can only do so much, but like with anime, like they can literally do anything. The world can literally have anything, but CGI can only do like it can look pretty good, but like right. sometimes you can you can just you can feel that it's not yeah quite dude, it just lacks body in yeah a sense. I feel you um, and I mean it's preference like I'm not trying to blast it I'm just saying like to me there's it. definitely all right easy. I got any issues easy man blasting. I know you ain't got a problem with blasting. <laughs> I'm saying if you like live action shows then like go for it I'm just like the live action hero shows you know they have like. The Flash on Netflix and stuff See, like no, Green Arrow. I'm, I'm not into that either. Yeah, I, I, I watched I, a, I watched a little bit of Green Arrow. I wasn't that into it, but yeah, Cora, uh, amazing. <laughs> listen, dude, amazing. Listen, you know, you've heard of Rotten Tomatoes? Sure. What did they give them? Ninety-two percent, man. Wow, that's ninety-two percent. I looked it up today because I was like, you know what? I thought this show was really fucking good. I know a lot of people really love this show. I'm curious what, like, critics, like, you know, people that are more qualified to actually judge a show as a right. whole, uh, just, like, as being, as far as being a show is concerned. Um, and 92% are Rotten Tomatoes. Like, Rotten Toma yeah. Tomatoes is not afraid to shit on right. some shows. Right, that's what I'm saying. So. That's awesome. I so, didn't, wow. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I've never heard a rating that high. I mean, I also don't reference Rotten Tomatoes very often, but it's crazy. Um, I mean, and, all right. The ending, dude. I told you. I already told you, man. I didn't tell you what happens because I think yeah. you should watch it. I think you should watch Korra. I would give it a go. Um, Absolutely. It's like it's like it's like Avatar: The Last Airbender. If you don't know, Legend of Korra is like the succeeding uh, show to Avatar: The Last Airbender, where Korra, the main character, is a girl. She's the new Avatar after Aang, and it's a little. It's more mature than The Last Airbender. Um, she does play an older character than the original. She's, yeah, yeah. Aang's like Aang's like twelve or thirteen right. on that show when the last Airbender starts, and Korra's like already like fifteen, sixteen. Okay. So she's like 
So there's certainly a certain element. And then there's the, in during the show, there's like a three year time skip. So she ends up being like probably like twenty ish when well, I like the end of the show. She sounds right. So, God. <laughs> put you right, man. Oh, I bet, dude. <laughs> Cora, Cora right. she's just like I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's like there's such a spoiler that I want to throw it out there, but I can't. Like, because it's literally, I told you, man, it's literally the last five seconds of the show, and it made me tear up. Literally the last five seconds. Literally the last five seconds of, like, the show. Damn, son. I don't, I'm kind of curious. Literally. So you watch 52 episodes, and the last five seconds are, like, the most, like, influential thing, at least to me. I mean, that must be saying something. something. I'm really curious, but I... I, I you watch it first. Part of me is compelling you to just be like, "Dude, say it." No. But then the other part of me is I like, mean, "I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it anyway." Because Cora's relatively new. It ended three years ago, which is like not that new. But there's, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty. Good. I mean, I didn't see it till just now. So Fair. I'm sure there are other people that have wanted to see it or at least like thought about looking at it, but haven't yet. So I'm not, not going to say anything more. Where did you find it? Found, uh, yeah, how did you actually stumble across this series? Um, I knew about it. Um, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon played it? It played on it. It was on Nickelodeon. Oh, shit. Um, in 2012 is when it originally aired. At least season one started airing. And I, I, I watched a couple episodes, but I I think at that point I hadn't even watched Avatar The Last Airbender all the way through. Really? Yeah. Let me see. And I did that not too long ago. Like, actually, actually watched it all the way through. Not just, like, as a that. kid, you wait till an episode's on. You're like, oh, I like this show, but you can't really binge watch on Cartoon Network. Or, or Nickelodeon, I'm sorry. Because they just, they only, play, they only play, like, two episodes a day. Right. And they'll be, like, randomly jumbled episodes that are from different times in the in the story. So you, True. You can't really get much out of it. Or you don't really feel the full effect if it's not all in, in, um succession right so but core man i'm telling you i'm telling you yeah like avatar is just avatar is just kind of beloved because i think i'm sure it's like a i, I mean i don't think it's a bad show but i definitely don't think it's like amazing just as far as like being a show is concerned it's like dragon ball z okay dragon ball z is like a beloved uh beloved anime and for like good reason because at the time like it was the only thing that that did was the first it was like the first of like its kind being that like big. Whereas if you really like look at it as far as being a show is concerned and how good it is and how well they, you know, develop characters and push story and, you know, it, it's not the greatest in that respect. But it is still a lovable anime, like regardless. It's just not the best. That's fair. That's fair. Dude, the Frieza fight's like 20 episodes. Five minutes, man. Five minutes. <laughs> Half a fucking a day later, it's crazy. worth of time. I feel you on that. So I mean, it's just like simple stuff like that. But uh, I think Cora, just like as a whole, like I mean, we already talked about Rotten Tomatoes. Like mm. I just think as a show, it's just a good show. It really develops a lot of care. A lot. Of, it has a big cast, and they do a, a pretty, a pretty damn good job developing. Dude, what are they all supposed to be doing in here? Really, you probably have to find the leader. Can you talk to him? Can you go left? There it is. There you go. Um, look at those boxes perfectly set up for you to go over that wall. Um, but yeah, I uh, probably before four days ago when I watched. It was probably a little over four days ago now, right? When I when did I tell you? Because I literally told you like the day after. It was like three, maybe four days ago. All right, I will say we'll say four days ago. Before four days ago, prior to four days ago, I probably hadn't cried. A tear probably hadn't left my eye in like four years. Just because you're such a man. No. Big man. I'm just trying to listen. Don't cry. I'm just trying to talk out Cora all I can. <laughs> Cora was the first time I like had like I like cried in like probably multiple years. Like, are we talking like sniffles and tears? Or are we talking? <laughs> Bravo. Kind of. <laughs> Damn word. It's not like sad. Like it's a happy. It's not a sad. It's ending. just powerful emotion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very, okay. very powerful because uh, there are hints to the ending, but you never really, you never really believe. You know what I'm saying? Like watching the show, they threw hints. They threw hints towards like how things would turn out, and I was like, I was like, that was like I, I even recognized it when I was watching. I was like, 
That was a weirdly obvious kind of like hint. I see. Like, like no way they, no way. No. No. I was like, it's just, Can't throw it's a just bone like that. It's not like that. I see. And it was like that. You'll see. I see. I'll see. You'll see. You should watch it. Oh, man. No, you want to keep it up? Yes. Yeah, All right, let's keep it up. 12 minutes. Do 12? Yeah, man. All right. I've been doing 12. I set an alarm. So oh, I'm, did I'm you starting to set alarms again. Good man. We stopped doing it for a little bit, so a little, a couple of these episodes. Drag a little bit longer. Drag a little bit over, close to 15 minutes, so. Yeah. But I'm going to okay. start setting alarms now so we can do better, but yeah. Core, core, core. This is the core episode. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking about core for 12 minutes. And if you haven't watched it, if you haven't watched it yet, watch it. I mean, like, even people that don't watch cartoons, like, it's not, it's it's way more mature than uh, Avatar The Last Airbender and still the same stuff. I so, I don't know. And Korra, like I said, is like the best female protagonist I've ever seen in an anime. Because they like to make them just, you know, they're girls, so they make them girly. I see what you mean. But Korra's, Korra's a fucking boss. She's tough. She'll fuck you up. She ain't scared. You sure? For the, for a long while, well, there's like bumps in the road, but of course, you know. I mean, what the show would be boring as fuck if Cora was just like tough and just fucking dunked on people all the time. I suppose it's true. It's entirely true. <laughs> It'd be so boring. Would it though? If like every fight scene, Cora just showed up and kicked the ass of everybody, and then it was over. I see. Shady house. Nah, that's but that's another thing. I mean, I think both series did that pretty well. Like, fairly often, Aang and Korra, they fucking lose. And it's nice. Like, I mean... It's refreshing. I mean, yeah. I, I think a lot... I think nowadays, like, a lot of shows have learned to do that more. Have Just learned to kind of know. limit their heroes because it'll be boring if they win every time. But, uh, I mean, I still feel like it's worth pointing out that they, they do do a good job of, like... Even though, specifically these shows, they're the Avatar. There's only one in the world. There's only one person in the world that can learn all four elements. Right. Them, and they still lose fights. So that's why it's like more significant in this show. Thank you for watching, uh, <laughs> Just Nuts. Out of here. Thank you for listening listening to me rant about Cora while Alan said like four words this episode. <laughs> I gotta give you your I'm, space, sir. I'm sorry. I feel like I just had to get that off my chest. I've literally been waiting the last four days to just like just talk about Cora to somebody, even though I couldn't even like share details because I don't really know anybody else. Look at you! You're so excited, Cora. though. I am, dude. I'm about to rewatch it. <laughs> We'll pick this up in just one moment. Don't you go away.